and get this Moriarty. Master said that my ruler counterpart was better suited for that mission, but I call bullshit. Lancer Arturia Alter ranted drunkenly. Yes, yes, I've heard that story before, and the rumor it came with. Moriarty replied. Yeah. Anyway, dash, hiccup, one more glass, please. Lancer Arturia Alter muttered drunkenly as she was holding up an empty glass. Moriarty let out a small sigh. Really, King of Storms? That's your tenth glass of alcohol right now. Honestly, for a woman your age, I think these number of glasses are enough for you right now. Maybe you should stop drinking right now. Shut up. Hiccup, just pour me another glass. Or else I'll stab you with Rangaminiad, she mumbled. Moriarty sighed again as he then went back to his work area in the bar. Geez, it's been a long time since I've ever had a customer that keeps drinking like if the end of the world is upon us. Last time that happened was when the King of Heroes came over once and he started drinking his butt off until he was completely drunk and it ended with him dragging his friend off to the karaoke bar. And when he was drunk, he was muttering about the heroic spirit known as Amiya Shiro, also known as Faker. Still though, that was amusing to see him in quite a state like that. Meanwhile, Lancer Arturia Alter was having some thoughts of her own. Damn it, nobody should take him away from me, he's mine. As she was in her thoughts, it was then she felt a familiar presence coming into the bar. Merlin, he's here. Merlin then came up to where Lancer Arturia Alter was and sat down on a stool next to her. So, this is where you were, Arturia, he said. Merlin, just what do you want, she muttered slowly as she was still drunk. Oh nothing. I was just checking on you to see what you have been up to. Imagine my surprise to find you here in Moriarty's bar, drinking. Lancer Arturia Alter let out a sigh. Just shut up Merlin. Leave me alone for a while. She muttered as she laid her head down on the counter table. Oh my, looks like you're in quite the mood. Did something bad happen to you? Maybe Gilgamesh tried to make another attempt at a marriage proposal? Lancer Arturia Alter did not say anything, leaving Merlin with one more possible guess. Or did you get in a fight with Shiro? It was then Lancer Arturia Alter slowly turned her head towards Merlin. No Merlin, we did not have a fight. She muttered. Really? Then why are you acting like this? I just can't stand it. Can't stand what? Well, I just can't stand the attention Shiro's been getting lately. Not only that, but I feel like Master is trying to separate me from him on purpose. Like what happened in Las Vegas, where he appointed Shiro with my ruler counterpart. Not to mention the fact that you yelled out the question if she and Shiro had sex in Las Vegas. Luckily, that was just a misunderstanding from Master. Still though, never ask a question like that in front of me Merlin. Lancer Arturia Alter ranted. Merlin let out a small chuckle upon hearing Lancer Arturia Alter's ranting. Wow. She's ranting like a child. That's a lot of emotion she just released, and it tastes good. Clearly, she must have drunk a lot before I even arrived here. He then turned to Moriarty. Hey Moriarty, just how much did she drink and what did she drink before? Let's see, from what I remembered, she had 10 cups of Irish coffee. Each of them has whiskey in them, Moriarty replied. Merlin's mouth slightly dropped from Moriarty's words. You're kidding. I wish. Speaking of which, here's your order young lady, he said as he placed a cup of Irish coffee in front of her. Thank you. She muttered as she grabbed the glass in front of her and drank it within a few seconds. Anyways, I'm just tired of the other girls trying to grab Shiro away from me. So, you wish for more attention from him, right? Merlin asked, knowing what she wanted. Yeah. Well then, leave that to me, he said with a smile. 
Soon, Merlin got out of the stool he was sitting on and headed out of the bar. What is he up to? Lancer Arturia alter thought as she saw Merlin leave before returning to sitting alone in the bar. For a moment, she just sat there for a while. Then after a few minutes, she felt a tap on her shoulder. Lancer Arturia Alter let out a sigh, expecting Merlin behind her. What is it, Merlin, she asked as she turned around. However, instead of Merlin, Shiro was in front of her. Shiro? Hey Lancer Alter, Merlin told me to find you here, Shiro replied as he was sitting on a stool next to her. Lancer Arturia Alter let out a small sigh before getting closer to him. Shiro, can you take me back to my room? I feel like not being here right now. Please, she requested. As you wish. Shiro then raised on a Lancer Arturia Alter's arms and tried to get her off her stool. However, she stopped him for a moment. Lancer Alter? Shiro, I want you to carry me, bridal style, now. She muttered while slightly moaning at the same time. Shiro let out a small sigh. Lancer altered, dash. Shiro, please. She repeated as she looked at him again. As their eyes met, Shiro was looking at Lancer Arturia Alter's face, which was slightly red from the amount of drinking she did. Her bangs were slightly messy, and her golden eyes had a look that longed for him. Not only that, but the expression on her face made Shiro feel weak in his knees. Eventually, Shiro gave in. Fine, he said as he lifted Lancer Arturia Alter from the ground, carrying her in a bridal way. Well then, lead the way, Lancer Alter. Yes, Shiro. And call me Arturia. Lancer Arturia Alter replied while drunk. Soon, Shiro carried Lancer Arturia Alter out of the bar, with Morody watching with an amused look on his face. Wow. That was quite the change of mood. Meanwhile, Shiro was carrying Lancer Arturia Alter back to her room bridal style. As he was doing that, Lancer Arturia Alter let out a smile upon feeling Shiro's body as he was holding her. Eventually, the two reached her room. Is this it? Shiro asked. Yes. Shiro and Lancer Arturia Alter then went into her room. Well, what do you want me to do? Shiro asked as they entered her room. Just, put me down on the bed. She moaned. Shiro nodded and then placed her on the bed. As he did, he then proceeded to cover her up. All right then, get some rest, Arturia. You don't want to wake up with a massive hangover, you know. Yes. Good. Very well, I'll be leaving now. However, as Shiro turned around, he felt Lancer Arturia Alter's hand tugging onto his kimono. Arturia? Shiro, don't leave. Stay here, Lancer Arturia Alter said while pleading at the same time. Arturia. This is an order from your king. Stay here, with me. Knowing that Lancer Arturia Alter was not going to let him leave, Shiro let out a small sigh and resigned himself to his fate. Very well, I'll stay here with you. Lancer Arturia Alter let out a smile. Good. Come over here, she said as she moved over and lifted her bed sheets, allowing Shiro entrance and space for her bed. Shiro then got under the bed sheets and laid himself next to her. As he did, it was then she began to roll over again, this time with her above him instantly. Arturia? Shiro, you are mine, Lancer Arturia Alter said before she started ranting in a drunk-like way. You hear me? You are mine. No one is going to take you away from me. And I mean no one. I'm getting sick and tired of other people getting attention from you, and it's annoying. For once, let me have you for an entire single night. But dash. No buts. Now shut up, take responsibility, and let me have you as your king. And in an instant, she touched his lips with hers, and proceeded to do some other things to him. 
Shiro was walking down one of Chaldea's hallways, minding his own business. As he did, it was then he noticed Lancer Arturia sitting down on the ground, her back up against the wall. HM? Arturia? What is she up to? And it looks like she seems to be down, maybe I should check on her. Shiro then went over to where Lancer Arturia was. Arturia? HM? Shiro, she said slowly as she looked up at him. However, upon seeing her face, Shiro immediately recognized the same facial features he saw on her altered counterpart when she was drunk. Shiro slightly gulped before continuing the conversation. Um, Arturia, are you okay? Lancer Arturia nodded sideways. No. I feel weird, every part of my body feels hot for some reason, and I just want to pass out right now. She moaned. Shiro sighed again. Uh oh, she's definitely drunk. He thought to himself before deciding to help her. Anyways, do you want me to take you back to your room? Yes. Please. Shiro then wrapped one of his arms around Lancer Arturia's shoulders and helped her walk towards her room. As they were walking together, Shiro started a conversation with Lancer Arturia. By the way, do you have any clue with your current condition? He asked. HM. Well, earlier, I was in the cafeteria having a drink, and Merlin came by. We then had a chat, and that was it. Now that you mentioned it, I think he may have spiked my drink that time. Lancer Arturia muttered drunkenly. I can see him doing that. Eventually, the two arrived in front of Lancer Arturia's room and headed in. Okay. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to tuck you in bed or something? No. I'm not that tired, you can just put me down if you want, Lancer Arturia replied sluggishly. Very well. Shiro then let go of Lancer Arturia, allowing her to sit on her bed. Do you want me to make some tea for you? Yes please. Okay. Give me a moment. Shiro then quickly left her room, leaving Lancer Arturia alone in her room for a while. Eventually, Shiro returned with two cups of hot tea in his hands. As he returned, he handed one cup to Arturia. Here. Thank you. Lancer Arturia then grabbed the cup of tea and took a sip out of it. As she drank it, she felt her body feeling slightly better. Um, do you want me to give you some privacy right now? Shiro asked. If you want, I can dash. No. Stay here, Lancer Arturia interrupted as she was tucking on Shiro's kimono. Shiro let out a small sigh as he felt like he was in the same situation as what happened to Lancer Arturia altar in her room. Fine. He then sat down on the bed next to her. For a moment, nothing happened between the two as they were sitting close together. Then Lancer Arturia began the conversation. Hey Shiro. Lancer Arturia moaned drunkenly. What? Do you like my breasts? At that moment, Shiro spat out his tea. Huh? Like I said, do you like my breasts? Lancer Arturia repeated drunkenly while getting closer to Shiro, her breasts touching his arm in the process. Shiro slightly blushed at Lancer Arturia's actions, even though she was still drunk. W.Y. are you asking me that question? He asked. Lancer Arturia let out a small pout. Well, I feel something is taking your attention away from me. No matter how many times I've tried to grab your attention, someone else gets in the way. It's like if something in Chaldea is making you not notice me, she ranted. Shiro let out a small chuckle. Um. Arturia, I think that's your imagination. You think? I think I'm damn sure about it. Imagine my surprise upon hearing Merlin asking if you and my ruler counterpart had sex in Las Vegas. Luckily, that was just a misunderstanding from Master, but still, I was really shocked at that time, she ranted before she sipped on her tea again. And let me tell ask you this. 
Just how long is that asshole Gilgamesh going to keep flirting with me? He should have at least known by now that I'm in love with you and not him. Well, that I do not know either. He's really stubborn. Shiro replied as he sipped on his tea. Exactly. He's so stubborn that it even baffles me. I swear, he needs another punch in the stomach from your ancestor. And that punch must be a hard one. Enough for him to fly out of Chaldea and into the sky. Lancer Arturia drunkenly ranted while waving her arms around, making Shiro chuckle. Eventually, her rants calmed down. As they did, Lancer Arturia fell onto her bed and let out a huge sigh. Geez, just for once I wish that guy would leave me alone. She muttered. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to leave any time soon, so we're just going to have to deal with him. Shiro replied as he laid back on the bed. Yeah, you're right. Lancer Arturia replied as she began to move closer to him, hugging him as their bodies met each other. For a moment, nothing happened between the two as Shiro was acting like a pillow for Lancer Arturia to cuddle with. And plus, you're here, and that matters the most. And the silence between the two occurred again. Eventually, Shiro wanted to leave, but Lancer Arturia was not going to let him go. Um, Arturia, can you let me go? Shiro asked. No, Lancer Arturia replied with a pout as she looked at him. Please? No. No matter what you say or do Shiro, I'm not letting you go. Even if you try to bribe me with food, you are not leaving my side right now, and that is final, she said before surprising him with a quick kiss on the lips and then hugging him again. For now, let me hug you. Shiro let out a small sigh. Looks like I won't be able to get out of here for a while, at least there's no biting unlike what happened with Lancer Alter when she was drunk. Meanwhile, outside of Lancer Arturia's room. He 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 he, looks like my prank worked, and to think she would act like this when drunk. Quite amusing. Not to mention what her altered counterpart did. Merlin thought with a smile on his face as he was overhearing the conversation 